Hi, welcome to Metro CSG. This is Ria. Are you tired of doing repetitive and manual tasks that take up so much of your time? Say, for example, you want to check the progress or be updated on the completed tasks of your team. Instead of checking it manually, you can create an automation for that without the need for coding skills. Microsoft Power Automate can streamline all of your repetitive tasks and paperless processes so you can focus on your core services. It helps boost efficiency, productivity, and collaboration. For example, for this video, we will create an automated notification once your team completes a task. I've made here a sample planner named Video Black Task, and you can see sample tasks. Now we will make these two tasks here into completed and see what will happen if we will make a Power Automate notification for this. It should be able to bring a notification in the post area once you can create a flow. To access Power Automate, go to your Microsoft 365 account or office.com, then choose Power Automate. It will lead you to a page where you can see flows, create, and templates. When you click My Flows, it will show you all the flows that you have made and the shared one with you. If you click Templates, it will show tons of templates that you can choose from. Whether you choose remote work, approval, button, data collection, or even email and events in Kalintar. You can automate everything from email notification to attachments or even social media. When you choose create, it will give you five so you can start from blank. You can check automated cloud flows, instant cloud flows, scheduled desktop, and business process flow. For this video, we will make a post message in Teams when a planner task is completed. Click this so you can start to create your flow. This involves two applications, which is the planner and the Microsoft Teams, and it will prompt you to the account where it needed sign in. Once verified, you can click continue. Then choose the group where the planner is made. For example, this one, it's under marketing. Then choose the name of the planner. For this one, it's a video blog task as test. It will give you an option as to whose account will post the notification, then what channel to choose, or group chat, and then choose the team, so we'll choose marketing, then choose the channel. This one will choose videos. You can also add additional step by clicking the new step button or directly click the save to make it simple. Now the flow has already been made and you can try to test it. When you click on My Flows, you can see the notification or the flow that you have made. You also have options to edit it, share, or even delete it. Then let's make a refresh. Now let's go back to our planner and let us update all the tasks that we need to complete. So for example, this task has already been completed and we can update it by clicking the completed and transferring it into the bucket complete. And then let us update the other one. Let us all transfer it to the completed bucket. Mark it as completed task.
Now, while waiting for the notifications to come in, I'll show you how to add Power Automate in Teams. Just click the three dot buttons, then choose Power Automate. Then you can click Add or Open, or you can check the videos and the images that provided for you. Once in, you can see all the flows that you have made or that have been shared to you. You can also click Create. So it will prompt you into different levels or different types of templates that you can choose from. Now, going back to the post of videos channel, you can see that Power Automate already made notifications of all the tests that have been completed under the planner. This way, it will be a lot easier for you to check all the tests that have been completed, especially if you are handling different teams and numerous tasks or people. That's it. Hope that this will help you simplify your repetitive and manual tasks. For more productivity and collaboration tips, like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.